I find it so fascinating how each of these bears has their own personality. And just like people, they're all different. We were getting ready to turn loose on about a three and a half hour old track of a small bear. But when the dogs left out, the sound of the race seemed like a much hotter track which gave us the notion there must have been a different bear there that we weren't aware of, laying a fresher track. These dogs didn't get 400 yards deep, and all of them but one were treed solid. Good dog, good dog. When we got to the tree, a quick look up confirmed that this was definitely a different bear. And upon a closer look, I realized I knew this bear all too well. It was old Whiteface. Whiteface is an old sow bear that's been around these parts for a long time. And she is one of my favorites. She's never far away. She's always a short run. She's never mean, doesn't blow or pop her teeth, just hops up a tree quick, sits back and yawns, and enjoys the photo shoot. She's raised several batches of cubs around here, and trains them up the same way. Now she's getting long in the tooth. And I don't know how many more seasons she's got left. But if you hit that subscribe button and follow us along, I would bet you'll get to see her again. And when we left that tree, we went to find that other dog. He had taken the original track and ran that small bear a long ways a long time by himself in some hard to get to countryside. Back and forth across the river three times and finally crossed out to where we could get to him. After several hours he had done a heck of a job and he was plumb tired. So we scooped them up when we got a chance, and then we dumped a couple of freshies on the short end of that track. It wasn't long then, and they had that little joker on the wood in the old cedar bottom. Oh, <laughs> oh,
Come, come, come.